I think I found a gusher. Welcome to the 2019 maple syrup season. I'm Joe. I'm a husband of one, a father of five, and this is our homestead. We make maple syrup here. So join us as we uh, kind of vlog this season here. We've been doing this for about 10 years now, and so I love it so much, I'm just gonna share whatever I know. So this is short, sweet, and that's gonna be about it, but uh, if you wanna see this season, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, share with your friends. It's going to be a good one. So, fast and furious and sweet. So, you know, every tree is different. Every tree's location is a little bit different. Whether it's sunny or it's in a low spot or, you know, I'm very wooded right here. This is the tree that I show you, showed you guys on the intro. And, and when that thing, that wasn't sped up at all and that was really uh, really dripping good. This thing is bring in there just about ready to go over. And so this tree has done pretty well. So we're uh, got my, got my, Girls doing the driving today. Not bad for a, a nine and four year old, huh? Um, you don't learn family tradition if you don't participate in family tradition, right? So, uh, we're about one day into tapping. Um, kind of a cloudy but warm day. The wind is down right now. The wind is supposed to come right up. And that wind, uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might pull the buckets, we might, I'm not sure what we're gonna do because it's supposed to get vicious. Lower, lower to the left. See if she can do it. Very good. Keep on coming down. A little bit lower. Um, how do we do, sis? Oh, probably. Not quite three gallons in there. So hey Joe, what's up with that shirt? Just just an old t-shirt. Uh, not too big a deal right now. Uh, but as we progress into the season, any of those little insects, we want to keep those out. As the season continues, we want to keep those little insects out of that sap, we just keep trying to keep that sap clean. The ball goes to the tree, right? And now we head on down the way. Go on, girl. Say hi. Hi. So last season I was uh I was vlog happy and it was a lot of fun but uh this season we're probably going to do weekend reviews because it's a ton of work. All right guys, uh here we are again. You're later, but here we are again. Um so here's my two barrels. Ran a hydrometer on this barrel here. And this was the first half of the woods, and that came in at 2.1% um, sugar. This one came in at 2.6% sugar. Uh, what does that mean? That means that at 2.1, it's actually about 40 points, I don't know, 40 point something, just shy of 41 gallons of sap to make a gallon of syrup. This one over here at 2.6, that's rocking in the 33 to one ratio. So that's pretty good. It's mostly my bigger trees, my roadside trees. Um, the other ones are deep in the woods. I'm happy with that. Here's my uh, RO and improvements of this year. Um, 
Once again, we're running it through the bottom of the barrel through a spigot, and I added one more membrane. So I jam pack them in a bucket, and that seems to work good. I can I can store this and put it in the basement pretty easily. And with these improvements, I am now running right around four gallons of water per hour that I'm pulling off, which is which is pretty good. Um, I can only boil at seven gallons an hour, so four gallons an hour, I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna just keep coming by, get bits and pieces of this. So this is the end of the, the first day ROing, or first day, this is the first day, end of the first day collecting. Um, I will probably switch barrels after five or so hours and run that through the night or at least for six or so hours during the night. And then I will show you what my findings are tomorrow. It's raining outside, buckets are still dripping a little bit, and we'll just have to see if uh, we get a windy gust storm or, or not. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, first boil of the 2019 maple syrup season. Uh, this, has been, this has been a tough week in Michigan. Um, I'm sure amongst you guys all across been a tough week and I've been pretty quiet on the YouTube lately just trying to take care of things lots of sick kids and uh, yeah so here we are it's uh it's a Saturday morning we tapped a week ago Thursday did a big collection on Saturday and Sunday lost power for I don't know 30 30 some hours in there so I'll give you a rundown I don't know, I've got lots of spotty footage, and so I will kind of just, I will kind of uh, give you an update of, of what happened. Uh, this year, last year we had 28 taps at the max. Right now we're at 41 taps. Uh, last Saturday, we tapped on Thursday. Saturday afternoon, we collected right around 60 gallons of sap. Um, the next morning we collected an additional 40 gallons of sap and then me and the oldest we pulled all the buckets off the trees leaving the taps in but we pulled the buckets off the trees the buckets off the ground we stored them in the barn because we had you know some serious wind gusts around here and that would have it would have pulled the entire tap out of the tree so we ended up having a freeze up this past uh, week uh, temperatures down near single digits and um, basically the sap, I, I was able to RO it, run through reverse osmosis the first day. Half of the sap was up near 2.4%, which if you do the math on that, it's right around 33 gallons of sap to a gallon of syrup. So pretty good rate. Uh, the other half was right around 2.1, which is just over 40 gallons of sap to a gallon of syrup. Um, so at 100 gallons, I was able to run that through the RO, reducing it down to right around 33 or 34 gallons of syrup, averaging at 7.5% sugar, which is, which is really spectacular. That puts me right around uh, 11 point something gallons of sap to syrup. Uh, we've been boiling here for near 30, three hours now. Uh, I figure I got another hour, hour and a half of boiling. Um, so what improvements have we done this year? Um, one improvement is, so first improvement is that I, <laughs> I won't be vlogging quite as much. Um, just, just, we take on more and so I, I can't give as much. Um, we increased our, our taps and depending on how this season lays out, we will probably increase the taps even more. Um, I've got, I've got some new buckets over there. Uh, I've got eight, ten buckets in the barn, and I've got I've got a few extra taps that will be going up. And if it's going to be a slow season, we'll just increase our volume through taps. The other improvement that we have done is we I added another um, reverse osmosis membrane, and so that has increased uh, the flow by about 30%, which means I can really draw some water off. 
that is going to speed us up quite a bit. Um, another improvement is this is my filter stand and I just took a five gallon pail and I cut off the bottom of it. Uh, my, my hope with that is that, especially when it's day like today and it's 30 degrees, that I'll be able to hold some of that warmth in and allow that syrup to filter through. You can hear from my voice, been fighting some stuff. So that's where we're at today. Um, we're hoping to finish here all around uh, probably near 11 quarts of syrup. Um, yeah, so those are the three improvements. Big goal is <laughs> I'd like to upgrade. That's my goal for this season. My goal for the season is to increase my tap so that I can sell additional syrup and eventually see the kids' little truck cap shed. Eventually, I'll be able to put a sugar shack there. Um, it might be an open-faced uh, lean-to. It might be a little more spectacular than that, but um, it's going to take me a few years to, to save up for this one. So, sorry if the editing's bad. I'm, I'm using Movie Maker, folks. <laughs> Keeping it free. Uh, so, if you like this stuff, subscribe, share, um, all that good stuff. Any of that, that, those monies could help towards that sugar shack. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining me. Kind of quick, kind of short. We'll keep bringing you along as the season develops. So stay warm. Bye now.